Alrighty. What's up, guys? It's Adam at Tailwater Outfitters. I'm going to do another fly tying video today. Uh, so this, as you can see, looks just like a white bait. Greenback, small thread fin, scaled sardine, whatever you want. Uh, looks just like a white bait. Uh, this fly is great for redfish and snook, uh, as well as trout uh, or even tarpon. Uh, you tie this in a million different colors, uh, but I call it the fox trot. Super easy to tie, uh, and a super great fly too. Um, so, get to it. So the hook I like to tie this fly with is a owner aki, and this is a 1-0 size. And I like this hook because it's a little bit heavier gauge, uh, which you don't necessarily need for the the thickness and the strength of it. Uh, but a little bit extra weight on that hook really helps it. Um, ride much better in the water. Uh, so we'll throw our thread on here about halfway down the hook shank and cut it off with my extremely sharp loon scissors. So the first thing we get here is our gray olive craft fur. So this is extra select craft fur. And so I'll cut a snippet out of here for the tail. Just a snippet. And on this I like to go about a one by one square inch off of the hide here. And so then after I get that cut off, kind of make it look nice and line up all the ends. Um, and then I'll grab it, grab the clump right around the middle here, and then I'll pull out all that under fur. You don't want any of that in the fly. It just bunches up, you don't want that. So I'll pull that out. You can even grab your loon ergo comb and kind of brush that out, get out all that under fur. Pull out my real long ends. So then when you tie this in, you want to be about just in front of the hook point, kind of where your thread's hanging down there, so almost halfway up the shank. And we'll do a tail about that long. Go ahead and tie that in, give it a few good wraps. And then take your scissors and cut off the excess. We'll clean that up a little bit. Get rid of your big straggler hairs. We're not messing things up and then we'll clean everything up a little bit with a few wraps. So then what I like to do on the tail too is I'll take my thread back here to the end and then I will do a couple post wraps kind of underneath that and basically what that does is that kind of you can see how that puffs up the tail a little bit and that helps it from fouling. It won't totally keep it from fouling but it helps it a lot. So you can even do a couple, a couple more of those. We'll wrap it in just like that. Then our next material, we're going to take some, this is EP 3 inch foxy brush, and this is the pale olive color. Uh, and I like this a lot. It works really well for that greenback imitation. So we'll take a little bit of that, we'll tie it in right in the middle of the shank, and then wrap our thread forward close to the eye, but not quite on it. We'll take our loon hackle pliers, we'll grab it. I like to wrap away from me. Some guys will wrap towards them. Doesn't really matter, but do a few wraps here. And every time you wrap, make sure you stroke your fibers back with your fingers so you're not wrapping over them. Every time, just like that. That way you're not trapping any fibers. You keep it nice and nice and thick. So we'll keep wrapping here. Jake may decide to speed up the video here. I don't know. So keep wrapping here. I don't really have a set number of wraps I like to do because some colors of this um, brush come out thicker than others. So usually white is pretty sparse and I think that has to do with the bleaching in the material. Um, but I don't like the body super thick. If you go s super thick with this brush, it, uh, the fly will not sink and you want it to sink very slowly or at least suspend. So then we'll finish up and give ourselves a little bit of space before the eye of the hook. I don't like bunching up the eye. And we'll take that and instead of cutting it off, that'll leave a real harsh end that'll cut through your thread. So I like to go like this, kind of bend that around and eventually it'll break. There it is. Clean up that here. And you can see that kind of looks like crap right now, doesn't it? Yes, now I'd agree with me. So then we take our ergo comb here from Loon and brush all that out. You could use a toothbrush for this. You could use a lice brush. That's basically what this is, a lice comb. Um, so we'll do that, kind of brush everything out. 
make sure you get all those fibers that might have been trapped and pick them out. Once we got that picked out, we'll kind of brush them back with our fingers here. A couple of nice wraps to seal in anything else that's straggling. We'll take our whip finisher, which is, where's my, there it is, false alarm, we're good. Whip finisher, and whip it real good. And now to finish off this fly, you can do some head cement. Uh, I don't have any here right now. Oh, I got some Loon Nonsense. Here we go. Take some Loon UV. And if you want to make this fly a little front heavy, you can do some lead near that front of the hook somewhere. And you can actually get this fly to get sort of a uh, kind of an up and down motion, which is pretty cool. Give it a little bit more action. We'll cure that up. And there you go, there is the Foxtrot. So another thing you can do to finish it if you really wanted to is put eyes on it. Um, you can use the EPIs. I don't, honestly, I don't personally think you really need it. I don't think it's gonna get you a whole lot more strikes, but if you do, you do you, man. But that is the Foxtrot.